Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another quick tip for student programmers. So today, our topic is pointer arithmetic, which is a problem that gets students a lot of trouble, but is really very straightforward. So let's dive right into it. Okay, for this example, what I'm going to look at this program. A very simple program. We have a single struct that represents some form of packet. I just made this up for now. Uh, for illustrative purposes, it contains two ints, a type and an age. And what we're going to do is look at what, when point arithmetic comes up most often is when you've got a big block of memory and you're actually trying to get a pointer at some fixed offset in that block of memory. So let's uh, just let, let, let's create a block of memory. Let's call it packets, and let's say let's say we want a block of memory that will hold ten packets. So we will malloc So with malloc, part of the confusion that we're going to get into, the students get into, is that some things use bytes, some things use other multiples. So for now, we're going to say we want room for 10 packets. And then let's just say we want to create a separate pointer that is going to point at the second, or let's say the third element in that in that array. So how do we do that? Well, I mean, one possibility, of course, would be that we could just use array notation and say we want this to be packets two, right? And that, that would give us the third element. But we're talking about point arithmetic today. So let's use point arithmetic. So what you would do is say, well, it's packets plus some offset. Right, and so in this case, what I see students do a lot is students will say two times size of packet t because they say, you know, they just said, well, we've got 10 of these, so we want two packets worth of offset into that buffer, and this doesn't work the way they think it should because what they're really looking for is element two in this in this array. But let's let's look at what actually happens. So if I just print out a couple of these things, just print out some pointers. And just for reference, let's print out what the size of packet underscore t is. So that'll help us make sense of all of this. Okay, so now let's let's compile our program and then we'll just oh ah got my types wrong. This needs to be long unsigned. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to run our program and what we see is a couple things happened. So first of all, here's here's where our data structure starts, uh, and we thought we we know over here that the size of a packet underscore t is eight, and so we were trying to add sixteen bytes to that array. Okay, so if we had successfully added sixteen bytes, we would see we would not see this address right here. So this address um, added much more than sixteen bytes. Now why? What's the problem? Well, the, the issue at hand is that when we're allocating with malloc, we specify how many bytes we want in our buffer. But when we do point arithmetic, the offset is actually a multiple of the size of the pointer, of the pointer's type. So in this case, packets is a packet pointer. So when we say, if I say packets plus two, just trim this down. That actually means I want packets plus two times the size of packet underscore t. So, so that that multiplication that we did is done implicitly by the compiler. 
Okay, why they did this, I'm not sure. I wasn't there, but that is how this works. So back when we had our code like this, when we were multiplying it by size of packet underscore t, the problem is, is now we were actually multiplying it by the size of the, of the struct twice. And so you were getting 2 times 8 times 8 instead of just 2 times 8 bytes. Okay. So there's a couple ways you can fix it. One is the way I just showed you, which is you just remove it. Probably the most obvious way is just to say plus 2. The other way, though, would be, and you can see how this works, is if, if I cast packets first to something that is, in fact, a pointer to some one byte type. Now, in practice, this is kind of ugly, and I don't recommend you doing it, but it helps you see what's going on. Um, oh. Yep, and then I'm going to have to cast it back. Like I said, it's ugly. Okay. So, so basically I just casted the original packets to a character pointer, which characters are one byte, do the pointer arithmetic, and then cast it back to a packet underscore t pointer. And now we can take a look at what this does. And you're going to see that now, sure enough, we do have so our original value plus the 16 bytes we expected, and we get this. You know, we, we just basically added 16 to it instead of adding 8 times 16. And so, so this is another way to get the behavior that we were actually looking for. Now, in reality, you wouldn't do this. In reality, you would simply say. simply say I want packets plus two but I just wanted to point out how that works that essentially when you when you add two to a pointer to this pointer what you're actually saying is I want packets plus two times size of packet underscore T bytes. Okay? So this is just something to keep in mind. Anytime you're doing point arithmetic, you got to pay attention to the type of the variable that that you are adding uh, an offset to because that will be computed into your offset. All right, hope that saves you some headaches. Happy coding.